My parents recently renovated their kitchen and my mom had mentioned wanting a cookbook rack for her countertop. So I dug into my special wood pile and found this piece of charred black walnut that was recovered from a Tennessee barn fire in the 80s and had been air drying ever since. I brought it to the planner to see what I was working with. It was clear that I needed to leave the charred edge as a feature on the rack. I originally planned to use this ambrosia maple for the rails, but ended up finding some curly maple that I thought paired better with the walnut. After cutting the walnut in half to create two side pieces, I beveled the bottom edges so they would rest on the rails at an angle. Using a beveled scrap piece and my miter gauge on the table saw, I cut out the slots where the rails would go through the walnut. Rather than changing out blades to use the dado stack, I just made multiple passes so I could sneak up on the proper width of the slots. Next, I did a little rough cleanup work with the chisel. And then tested the rails for the fit. I then proceeded to cut the rest of the notches in the walnut side pieces. I now had all four pieces of this project cut and ready for final fitting. Now back to the chisel again for the final cleanup and fitting of the slots in the walnut side pieces. Next I proceeded to sand all of the pieces up to 220 grit with my random orbital sander. After sanding I drilled a hole on the rear of each side piece for some additional holding strength. Now it was time to apply my brand before finishing. After heating with a propane torch for a few minutes, it is ready to burn. For finish, I chose Minwax Wipe On Poly. It's one of my favorite finishes for projects too small to bother with spraying. I wasn't sure how the charred edges of the walnut would take the finish, but they really soaked it up and ended up looking great after a few coats. The figure in the curly maple really popped with a little finish applied. I'm glad I ended up going with it over the ambrosia maple I originally had. I ended up applying three coats of finish over a period of two days and I think it turned out great. After letting the finish dry overnight, it was time to attach the side pieces to the rails. The plan was to use 5 minute epoxy to attach the sides to the rails and add a screw to attach each side piece on the rear that I drilled the holes for earlier.
of the 5 minute epoxy I used West System G5 epoxy. Once the epoxy was in place I drove the screw into place. This really served more as a clamp to hold everything in place while the epoxy dried. Overall, I was happy with how the cookbook rack turned out and my mom was ecstatic to get it on her counter and filled with cookbooks. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and check out the blog post link in the description for the full tutorial on this build and a few others. Thank you.